This exercise is going to work the quads, so the thighs and the hip flexors. It can be quite gentle if you do the gentle version. I want you to start with your feet hip width apart. So there's a little bit of gap between your knees. Maybe stick a fist and just see. Ankles directly underneath the knees. Take those shoulders back, relax them down. And you're going to hold either side of your chair. Lengthen the back of your neck. I'm going to turn so you can see a bit better what I'm doing with this exercise. Lengthen the back of the neck, retract the chin. Try and keep in that position. You should be facing me. I'm obviously going to turn mine so you can see. And all we're going to do is take the heel out and place it back. Flex the foot up as high as you comfortably can. Breathing out, breathing in. So I'm lifting that knee up, keep breathing, in through the nose, out through the mouth. With this one, it doesn't really matter whether you're in or out on the out and in movement because both of them have a little bit of effort. But think about pulling in your core, keep breathing. So I'm making this quite big and definite. If for you that is working you already and your heel's not as high, that's fine too. Go with what's right for you. But if you're a bit fitter and maybe doing these because you've maybe got an ankle injury and you want to just keep your hips and thighs moving, do it and just adjust how much you move your foot and how high you lift your knees. Make it your workout. Nothing should be uncomfortable. We never work into pain with these exercises. You always stop when you know you've had enough or when you suddenly find you're not doing it properly. Be really aware of your body, what you're doing. Even up both sides, if you start it on your right, try and finish on your left. And I quite like this one. If you can stand, you're going to stand up and stretch. But if you slide forward on your, your chair, just slide that foot underneath. Watch, you're not going to fall. And you're going to feel that stretch in your hip if it's tight. Those of you that can, if that's not working for you, you can maybe come forward and stretch forward into this position if you're able to come onto the floor or a standing version. Okay, so three options there for stretching out that hip. I'm going to come back to my chair. We're going to go the other leg. So it might just be sliding that hip underneath. I'm going to show you with the first leg again. But you're going to do the opposite leg under like that. Or you can come forward into a standing position. And you're going to tilt the pelvis under until you feel the stretch through that thigh. Or you can do what I did before and come down onto your mat really depends how easily you get up and down from the floor and how much of a stretch you feel you need. Give it a little bit of a shake out. 